great to have the opportunity to meet you via Zoom. How are you? How are you, how are you I'm, holding up? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Um, yeah, thank you for having me. My pleasure. You did such a good <laughs> job in this movie. And uh, well, let's just get to it. Unchained. Okay. Um, not too not too physical, not too, uh, you know, too many punches that you took there. Uh, when, when you, how did this all Not at all. Out? Yeah. How, how did this all come about for you? Um, well, all right, sorry, let me just turn you up a little bit. Okay. So, um, one, of, one of the, um, one of the writers and producers of the film is a good friend of mine named Ilya Constantine, and he, um, had a relationship with Raffaello, the director, um, and another one of the producers of the film, um, and he, he called me up one day and was like, hey, Mayor, we're, we're, we're making a movie, uh, it's going to be about fighting and <laughs> it's going to be that we've got a rough script. It's not finished yet, but we have an idea for what we want to do. Are you in? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. It's like, cool. You start training on, on Monday. Right. It's like, okay. So we immediately went into fight training from there. And then um, really we didn't know, I didn't know what role I was going to play or anything like that in the film until they, gave me, I think it was the first rough version of the script. And that's when he was like, and we want you to play the, the main, the main character. Um, but it started with basically kind of trying to test my physicality for a couple of weeks to see if that would work. <laughs> and so. clearly it did. I mean, okay. So that, that just blows my mind because here you are. Okay. I'm ready to start fighting and, and whatever I need to do. And then you find out that you're the lead in this, like how intimidating. And you know, you had to really up your fight game, I would think. Um, I guess, I guess so. Yeah, uh, it was, it, uh, the choreography was, I think what made me nervous at first um, was being able to remember everything because um, we had, a, we have a, a great uh, stunt choreographer and fight or stunt, stunt guy and, and fight choreographer named Gene Freeman. And he's yeah. awesome. Like he was uh, in the Mandalorian and stuff like that. Um, and he, he was, uh, it, that was intense. I was kind of nervous that I was like, okay, am I going to be able to remember everything in such a short period of time? But I do really good in under pressure for some reason. So it was like, you either learn it or you don't. And I was like, okay, well, I'm learning it and we're just going to keep going. And that's, that's what it's going to be, what it is. <laughs> so, I'm yeah. Cool. Wow. <laughs> and I'm just wondering too, um, once you kind of got into it and stuff, I, you know, I mean, you play this character, she gets kidnapped and she, you know, gets forced kind of into this underground fight world. And, but there, there are these things that take place, like, you know, in real life, there really are these underground fight clubs. Did, was it something that you needed to research or find out a little bit more about this world? Um, to, a, to a certain extent. I mean, I kind of took it as a, like an, an interesting play on like sex trafficking um, a yeah. bit. Yeah. So that's, um, you know, and without it being too, and, and there is actually a, a scene in there that's a little bit creepy and, and cringy and gives a little nod to that world. Um, but, you know, I, I think, yeah, it, there was, it, it wasn't like too much research that I had to do. I'm kind, I've always been kind of fascinated with, you know, cults and, and being like in kidnappings and stuff like that. So it, I've, uh, I watch a lot of crime documentaries and things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely, um, I definitely felt like it was um, something that could be a real possibility of actually like happening within the world. I mean, it's just, it's crazy to, to think that that could happen to somebody, but yeah. it can and it, and it has, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and once you start working with your co-stars, I mean, um, wow, like Larry, for example, you know, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, how do you um, kind of turn off real life and get into the mode where you have to act opposite someone like that. And then when you say cut, you're like, are you, you're all friends again? Or, or do you stay in actor mode? Like, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, uh, so everyone's different. Um, Larry is is very interesting guy. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm the type of person who can turn things on and off really, really quickly. So as soon as it's cut, 
I go back to goofing around and being friends with everybody, especially because I did, I had worked with a lot of um, the other actors on set before. So, all right, maybe not a lot of them, but a few of them I had worked with before and was friends with. So it, you know, it did feel like a family for me, for sure. Um, but with Larry, he would like, um, he kind of, he really put on the creepy vibe and he kept it there for the most part. Um, wow. He, yeah, he would like whisper weird little things in my ears, like right before a take, um, right before they yelled action. I was just like, mm, okay, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> but I mean, it, it did work. And as we got, um, as filming went on and we got, you know, closer to the end, he was definitely more, um, uh, more himself in between takes. Because at that point it was like, all right, we all know who these characters are. We all know uh, what their interactions are going to be like. And at that point, it was like, OK, I don't I think he was always trying to make like give us something to, to work with, you know, sure. and and be like he's supposed to be like this deplorable human. Yeah. So he, he he was definitely like, you know, trying to keep give, you know, give us that offset as well. But as as time went on, you got to really see who he actually was as a person, which was not is not anything like that at all. So. Good to hear. That's, that's always nice to know. And when you were, you were talking a little bit about um, the, like the stunt choreography and stuff, but mm -hmm. clearly there's a lot of fighting, obviously. I hope that there were no punches, you know, accidentally taken to you. Like there was no injuries or anything, I hope. Um, nothing serious. No, I mean, you, you, you do get beat up a little bit, you know, um, it's more, you know, if somebody throws something, you just have to be very vigilant and make, make sure that you're always thinking ahead because mistakes do happen, especially sure. in yeah. the heat of, of, of things. And, you know, while you're filming and people are, there's a lot of people around and, you, you know, people can get nervous. So if you miss a move and somebody's like coming in for something while someone's throwing a punch and you're supposed to be blocking it, yeah, you'll get hit. Um, I don't re really recall anything um, that serious happening. For the most part, it was just, um, there, there were definitely techniques where, that we were taught um, how to block certain punches and stuff and how to make contact without getting hurt because right. you are actually putting force into your movement, you know, otherwise it just looks pretty pretty bad <laughs> yeah no I mean so, it, yeah it, it was believable there's no question about it wow like well, kudos I'm glad you <laughs> I'm glad you believed yeah, it I don't think if I I don't think I could have done it I mean oh my god so that's that's pretty amazing um you of course started your career in music and and you know you gave us a lot of that and then you kind of turned to acting for a bit like well for now and what was it that kind of you know struck you that you thought okay I want to try this acting world um, yeah, so um, I had always been interested in it and I had done like some commercial commercial modeling and a little bit of acting like uh, independent films and stuff in high school and stuff. Um, and then, you know, music really took over and that was my passion. That's what I wanted to go for. And I had, you know, deals with with labels and stuff and um, when I moved to LA, I, I got really jaded from the music industry. It's just, it's a really, really tough industry. Yeah. And, um, especially now I would think too, like, I, I think, you know, just especially with streaming and it's gotta be extremely hard. I um, I, you know, it's a, it's a give and a take. Um, I, I, I prefer the independent route and streaming gives you freedom in that right. regard. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but it, it's more of like the actual business side of it and dealing with executives and dealing with managers and stuff. It, it, you know, you either, you either get really fortunate and are surrounded by a really good group of people or you're not. And unfortunately, I do think that the music industry definitely attracts a certain type of, of person. Um, so you get a lot of like narcissistic personality types and stuff like that, which is just, so that's rough to deal with, especially when you're really young and sure. growing up and, you know, trying to find yourself. So I was doing, I was writing a revenge album uh, towards my uh, label and <laughs> ran into a musician in the recording studio who's also a talent manager. Um, and he was like, you, you know, you could make a lot of money in this town acting and doing commercial work, especially because you're 
you have another skill set, which is music. And, you know, people are always looking for musicians and, sure. and whatnot for castings. It gives you a little extra edge. And I was like, why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? All right, cool. So I kind of jumped into it and it definitely, it, it definitely took over my life um, and became like my full-time job pretty quickly okay. um, yeah. considering. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the, that, yeah, that's the short, that's the short story about it. <laughs> no, but, no, but it's good. And you're right. It's good to have both skills. And in the movie, you wrote a song for it. We get to hear you in that it, in the end, you know, I did. Yeah. 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 Freedom. Um, th that's the end song at the end of the movie when the yes. credits are rolling and whatnot. Um, yeah. So it, it, it but the, the two worlds do, they do get to work side by side sometimes, which is nice. Um, it was definitely an adjustment period for me where it's like, I, I wanted to be grateful and be like, okay, some people work their whole lives to become an actor and never get that kind of never really get any work and here I am you know didn't really ask for it and it happened whereas you know but I I had worked my whole life for music and that got thrown in my face so <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. it was it was a moment but it, now but you know you grow and everything happens in life for a reason and I was able to now I'm able to kind of use them both together which is really nice and something I, I didn't really foresee happening. So, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. I think it's, I think, why not? You know, you go for it and for sure. Um, so what's next? I mean, I know we're coming out of this pandemic and people are now starting to get back to work and stuff, but do you have anything coming up now after Unchained? Um, yeah, so I, um, I do a, a really, really viral um, online series that's uh, very that's super popular uh it's called uh darman so i'm always doing yeah. shoots with them yeah um i'm shooting with them on monday again actually uh that one's really cool because i get to play a singer in that one so yeah. uh they go hand in hand um but yeah i also um I'm, we're, i've been shooting a bunch of these youtube sketches uh for my own personal youtube YouTube page with a bunch of other actors that I work with. Um, and we all kind of like share content and develop content together. Um, and we're going to kind of see where that goes too. So we, that's been a really busy shooting schedule. Next week is pretty jam packed as well. So, uh, this is the first day. And I think like over a week where I have not, where I've actually gotten to sleep. So that's nice. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Sorry, I'm sorry if I woke you up or anything. I'm, you know, I don't. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Absolutely not. It was, it was no, great. It was like 10 a.m. Great. Awesome. You're all good. You're all good. Well, listen, Mary, it was a delight to have the opportunity to talk to you today. Best of luck with everything. And thank you uh, so boy, much. I, no pun intended. You really packed a punch in this film. It was wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's really you did a great job so congratulations awesome. to you and thank, thank you thank you thank you for having me thank you for watching and it was great to meet you bonnie you too mayor take care and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon take care all right bye-bye